All right, drone video for probably the most tr private tract uh, at Cedar Gap Hollow. This is track 31. It's way, way, way up in the northwest corner at the very end of an easement road up on a, uh, a large ridge. Um, it's the highest on the south side where the road is. It then slopes down as you go northerly. Um, and where we're starting here, I believe, is going to be right where there is a building site that our dozer guy put in fairly recently. Yep, that's where the truck is parked. Uh, so not only is this one of the most private, if not the most private um, tract at uh, Cedar Gap Hollow, but as soon as you get there, you go down this driveway and curve around and the building site is not even visible from the road. So, I mean, this has such a private feel if you're if you've been looking for a place for a you know a, a very private cabin or just a little hideaway uh, this might be a good tract uh, looking to the north now this is an interesting very interesting property that the part you see obviously was logged um, within the last few years that part directly north of the site but a lot of this property was not and we'll see that as we get up in the air there's actually uh, from what we can tell quite a bit of, of very large timber on this property uh, mature timber on this property it's going to be mostly oaks and hickories mostly hardwood trees so there's the easement road that's at the south side you can see where the driveway goes north off of the easement road the easement road ends right at the property um, actually goes to basically the the southwest side of the property and then ends so as you look to the right along that easement road what you see north or just on the other side of the easement road that's the property that's the south side and we're looking basically northerly we're turning a little bit we'll be looking easterly in a moment here and again you see the easement road it's going to be to the left side of that you can see how it slopes down as you go left or north toward the lower right corner of the photo that's where you'll see the truck that's where that site is um, and then we're over the west side of the property looking east as you look off to the left side of the photo, you can see that uh, large area of what look like dead trees, and they might be. That's just off the property, so that's the, there's going to be a fence line between those dead looking trees and your trees, and you've got the, the live trees on the right side, <laughs> all the different colored orange trees and green trees. Uh, and then the open area toward the middle bottom of the photo, that is on your property. Uh, so I mean, if the guys had you know, a week to, to play out there with the equipment, they probably would have done that site going all the way down to that other open area. Um, but I think they only had a day or two to, to do the site on this and, and they did a, a good job with the time they had. So, so all that big timber you're seeing right there, that is on the property. There's the site where the truck is parked. Uh, the site is fairly small. We had no problem pulling down there with the truck and, and getting turned around. Uh, but if you're coming with a trailer or whatnot, um, you know it's going to be pretty tight so looking easterly I'm not positive where the east line of the property is but we're probably fairly close to it right now and that road goes down crosses a creek bed uh, I mean you do want a four-wheel drive if you're going to use this property if you're going to camp out here or, or uh, build or hunt or whatnot because uh, you do cross I think two small creek beds to get to this one but I mean, man, when you're back here, it is private. I know a lot of people, uh, including most people I know, uh, prefer some privacy uh, if they're doing a hunting cabin uh, or a, a vacation home or cabin or a campsite. Uh, so this one's great. I mean, you just go way back up there in the corner. There's zero through traffic because the easement road ends right at the, the southwest side of the property. So we're looking northerly. And I, I believe we're at about the, I guess, the southeast corner of the property. We're looking northerly at the property. We're drifting west along the easement road that borders the south side. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of big, tall timber on this property. Some of these tracks were, uh, were logged fairly heavily uh, to the extent that they were probably planning to, to turn them into pasture. Um, but, I mean, you can see from the drone video, there, there's quite a bit of large timber on this one. So again, on this track, to keep in mind, you do want a four-wheel drive, not only to get to the property, but to get up and down that driveway, which, um, I mean, I would definitely call it steep. It does wind around a little bit, so it's not a straight shot down that, that driveway, um, but you're, you're gonna want a truck or an SUV with four, 
wheel drive. Beautiful area. The deer and the turkey are awesome. Cedar Gap Hollow is one of the homesteader friendly uh, areas, which is great. You can kind of do your thing out here. You're close to Springfield, but you're not in Greene County with the heavy restrictions. You're actually in westernmost Wright County, uh, literally westernmost Wright County, because the, the west side of this property um, is the county line. But Wright County is known for having uh, very few um, restrictions on what you can do, which is very nice. So you can check out the property covenants on the listing page. Uh, special tract, private tract, has the site, has the driveway. Um, good to go. We hope to, to hear from you and answer any questions you may have.